Hello to the people watching at home. You're about to engage in another terribly long presentation. How you doing? Phoenix here. Just setting up the camera. I do hope that that is satisfactory. I have a feeling it should be. Alright, so... Welcome to another one of my presentations. Today, I want to talk to you about um, a couple of themes. Well, actually, it's the same singular theme uh, as expressed through a range of films. And so far, I've got two films in mind, and we'll see how long that takes to, to cover. I'm just going to have a look at the time to make sure. Okay, it's 11.20. Hopefully, I don't go past 20 minutes, because, you know, it's a lot of information. But I'll try to keep it short. Alright, so, let's get underway. To start with, let's talk about the movies and the series of comics, but it's particularly the film, and the concept of Transformers. Decepticons and Autobots. Alright? Now, I was hanging out with a friend a few weeks ago, and we were talking about how you see the same information and the same themes and the same narratives and plots being told over and over and over and over again throughout different mediums of you know film and music and books um, even recorded history throughout time different cultures all telling the same story all right and we're talking about this and we started talking about how there's a lot of movies where there's this ancient and powerful artifact that typically takes the form of a cube, typically a black cube, maybe with engravings on it, such as X-Men Days of Future Past is one that comes to mind, um, or as an orb, and you've got this in Call of Duty, Black Ops. Um, You've got the skull, Indiana Jones. Um, you also have the the scepter, or in uh, Constantine, it was the yeah, like a blade scepter thingy. Um, but typically speaking, and even Hellraiser with the cube. Typically speaking, all of these things, um, except for maybe the Hellraiser one's a bit different, but I think there's similarities there. They all have the same characteristics. Basically, they have the power to create life and do marvelous things like save the world or whatever or they will destroy life and do terrible monstrous nightmarish things like destroy all life all right so in transformers in this film the same object arises as the or spark the cube which you have these two races two entities or legions of entities fighting over except one's already got the all spark the autobots already have the all spark in their possession or they get to it and then you know basically they protect it it's under their protection and you've got the Decepticons uh, who are invading because their world has failed. And they're trying to terraform Earth so they can supplant their own existence here instead. All right, and they're trying to steal this all spark. So they've got the power to, to do this. All right. So I was talking to my friend about this film in particular just a couple of weeks ago, and I, I got curious. And I just had an urge to go onto my laptop, check on WordWeb dictionary, and to actually break down the words of Autobots and Decepticons to see uh, exactly what kind of, you know, what they mean, what, what range of definitions it would give us. Um, and basically, if you put in auto, it means autonomy. Well, autonomy comes from auto, but auto means having the ability to be controlled and maneuvered and steered 
but also having the ability to be autonomous and to take control and to steer yourself. So that's auto, it's just the ability to be moved from a force without or from within, being able to move. And then you've got bots. So I chucked in bots and it said a network of entities or a network of functions all moving towards the same destination through a network, all right? So it's a network of entities, individuals moving to the same destination. So if you put Autobots, basically you get the idea that there is a, a network of things that are all moving in unison, they've all got the same overall objective in mind, they're all painting a bigger picture together, and they're being propelled to move a certain way, all right? And they are being propelled from within and being autonomous or they're being compelled from without or coerced from without, steered from without. So that's Autobots, a network of beings that can either control themselves or be controlled. Right? Now Decepticons, well Decepti, that's pretty easy, deception, to de deceive. Okay, to trick you. And then con. It was interesting when I put in the word con, it had a few different meanings and a couple that eluded my mind when I first thought about it. So there's the obvious meanings of con, such as to con someone into a false gambit, to offer them fool's gold, to get them to exchange something of value to you for something which doesn't really have much value to trade goods for something that is worthless. So that's to con, it's to make a, a, a gamble. Um, con also means to control, to steer, and that's literally the words that comes up on WordWeb if you put in the word con, to steer or direct um, control off. Okay? And it's also linked to deception, once again, because if you're conning somebody into exchanging something of true value for fool's gold, you're conning them, you're deceiving them, right? So you've got decepti deceptions, really, They're, it's doubly enforced, that meaning of deception, but decepti cons, alright? So you've got, so you got these Autobots, a network of beings, they're all moving in unison like bees in the hive towards a single goal. And you've got the decepti controllers, con artists, the deceivers. Alright. Is this starting to ring a few bells? I mean, I'm sure you've heard this, this story before. So, there was once a cosmic chess game. Or I should say there is once maybe twice, maybe infinitely, a cosmic chess game between pieces black and white. And on the white side, or the light side, you, let's say you've got this entity that wants to protect life, that wants to create life, that wants to maintain harmony in life, just like the Autobots do, with protecting the all spark. And I think in Transformers, the symbol of the all spark, like in many of these things, actually represents our soul, our life force, our energy, our ability to be creative and move towards heavenly harmony, or our ability to be destructive and regress towards hellishly chaos. Alright, hellish chaos. And that's the spark, and you've got these beings that are, one's protecting and one's trying to steal it, to use it for destruction. Okay? So you've got this cosmic chess game. 
black and white Autobot Decepticon. Now, just skipping the analogy of the chess thing, but keeping with it as well, let's just go straight to the point. The Bible. Satan. Which, before you judge, before you think, oh great, this guy's religious. Yes, I am religious, but not about everything that's written in the book, which is just another program, except it's not on a TV screen. It's just another bent and twisted and turned upside down and inside out narrative to confuse our minds, to lead us astray, to have us worshipping false idols. And even Jesus said it. Don't worship me. Alright? And now you might be thinking, well hang on, you're saying that the books, the Bible is bullshit, so why are you saying now that there's some credibility and some quotation that Jesus made? Well, there's truth in the Bible too. There's a lot of truth in the Bible, and it's easy to discern, maybe not exactly where all the truth is, because the deceivers, huh, they've had a lot of practice, and they're pretty good at what they do. But you can discern, you can discern where the deceptions are, where things are bent, because it just doesn't feel right inside. And where do you think God is? Where do you think the all sparks, or the all spark is? It's inside. Because we're the Autobots, okay? We are this networked, and this is scientifically proven through quantum entanglement, all wavelength information, besides when we collapse it down to particles with open eyes, all wavelength, quantum entanglement, where all of this information exists on a unified blanket, making different shapes, and we think, oh, I'm this shape, and I'm this shape. Oh, hello, Judy, how are you today? Fuck, I told you not to talk to me, Greg, you weirdo. Alright, we think we're separate, but it's all connected by the same blanket of information. And yes, I stole that from My Heart Huckabees. That's a great film, you should watch it. It's amazing. It really covers the philosophy of a lot of this stuff I'm talking about really well. Alright? So everything's connected, everything's quantumly entangled, and we are Autobots on a network of the, what Jung would call the ground unconscious, what scientists today would call the newest sphere, N double O sphere, the new sphere, which is this realm in which we are all connected, whether someone wants to call it the astral realm, or whatever you want to call it, some kind of hive mind, whatever you want to call it, but we're the Autobots in the story of Transformers, alright, we are these creatures that have the ability, we're more like conduits really, vessels, mediums, co-variables, we're not just variables, but co-variables, because butterfly effects, everything's connected, every single person affects everything else, alright? So we're all co-variables on a network, moving towards some objective, whether we think we are or not, whether we think we know that we are or not, just, just hold with me here, and if you disagree, consider this a bit of a mental exercise and feel free to just to post your um you know your thoughts on this and your feedback and I'm, I'm more than welcome to discuss with you and hey i'm open to you changing my mind all right and i, and I hope that's mutual so the deceiver satan it is just a name the bible it is just a book but there is a lot of truth and because the decepticons the Decepticons, the con artists who made a gamble with God, the all spark, life itself. God, the all spark, the all spark. I mean, fuck, it's electrons, that's life, right? Holographic universe, what have you. If you don't believe in a holographic universe, that's fine, but it's at least energy vibration. So that's life, the all spark, being, trying to be claimed by the Autobots, by us. These beings are, who are networked with a purpose in mind, who have the ability to take control of our lives, or to at least allow what's inside, to allow the all spark itself to guide us. All right. And you've got these deceptive controllers, who, like Satan, at the beginning of the game of chess with God, 
so to speak, metaphorically speaking, made a gambit, made a deal. He made a deal. Because I, I was raised Christian. I know a lot of the stuff. I, I read into all cultures and religions. And you know what? These stories aren't just in the Bible that you know. There's a lot of places the story exists throughout time. Different religions, same story, same archetypes. So the archetype of Satan made a deal with the archetype of God. These two principalities, right? Two powers. Positive, negative, right? And basically, Satan wanted to, and the idea goes, wanted to steal the glory of God. He was jealous of God, that he created life and all of this. And he wanted to be equal to God, and he wanted to take this creation, not just be equal, but he wanted to take the creation for his own and prove that he could make it better. Because Satan hates humanity. He hates God's creation. Or well, it hates its creation. And it wants to defile that creation. It wants to corrupt that creation. It wants to lead it astray through deception, through conning it with fool's gold, with false promises, with empty rewards in the material world of flesh and hell, where flesh is sin, where the heart is heavenly, the heart knows and the heart steers the autobot and when you listen to your heart when we all listen to our heart that's when we start finding that we have more similarities because we're all networked moving on the same course towards building paradise because this is Eden earth itself you could look at as in Eden all right it's a garden God's creations where us are playing. Okay? And we can take this one of two ways. And it's obvious which ways they can go. If you have caught up with the context of what I've been talking about. We can go towards a lush paradise where everyone is moving in unison. Everyone speaks the same universal language. That's why Christ, by the way, is always associated with the rose. It represents love, passion, the Christ consciousness, which is God embodied in man inside our heart through the Word. Because first there was the Word, and the Word was by God. God was by the Word, and the Word was God. But I would contest the Word was God. I would contest it because that's true. But I would maintain that the Word still is God. Whatever that original meaning was, that whatever the Creator is, you might not want to call it God. Maybe that has too many negative connotations. Maybe we can call it uh, consciousness. Just consciousness. Because we're conscious. And something something is responsible for the golden ratio. And the Fibonacci sequence. These precise mathematical formulas. Repeating itself throughout. More things in this reality than it doesn't. Okay. And that's a big statement. There's a lot of things in this reality. More things than not, you'll find these repeating codes. So it's not just a whimsical chance thing. It's just life's just fighting itself into random shapes because it just happens. There's something guiding this, and I believe. When they say that God was the word, that they meant that literally. Whoever wrote that was channeling the word of God because God is the word. And perhaps God or consciousness actually spoke through this medium who was like myself, not to say that I'm a prophet or like a Jesus type person now, but like myself who's clear minded enough, open minded, not fixed to their ego, to their identity, to the material world, but they're open enough and ethereal enough to allow the ethereal language to be heard, to come through and to govern their actions, to govern their speech, to govern their hands as they ascribe whatever they are being transmitted informationally alright so I say God because everyone gets that but what I mean is consciousness I mean the puzzle mind